Hello viewers, how's it going? Are you fine? Yes, I am Shankar Chauhan, Shankar Sars is spoken English, back to my channel and try to understand me what I say. I think learning a language is, a, is not an easy process, okay, but whenever a learner eagers to learn some skills of a language, he must have to focus language norms. That's the kind of prospect of a learners. Okay. If he agrees to know the details information of a language, he must keep in touch with the language and practice daily. Okay. A learner must speak English spontaneously, it may be right or wrong. Okay, practice, practice, practice. Okay, there is no way to change one's life without practicing in English. Okay, to learning a language is very easy and comfortable for all the learners. Okay, today I'd like to start a very interesting topics about knowledge of structure. Okay, so I made it designed for the understanding of the viewers i have also made an arrangement for all the learners and uh, sheet made sheet for all the learners you have to make it a screenshot okay enjoy the class let's go most welcome and congratulations to my platform of shankar sir's spoken english channel within this channel i'd like to start my speaking about the rules of some structures in english language you know, learning a language is very uh, important task for all the learners, all the language learners in the world, because English is an important language. English are written maintaining the rules of some structures. That's good. There are many structures or patterns or patterns in English language, but all of them are not used widely. The following patterns of English language are usually used most of the time. Okay. Then, every learner of English language should master this structure to meet up the requirements of daily use of this language. In order to know how to write English language, correctly or to speak in accurately, one must have knowledge of structures. A learner of an English language should know the following abbreviation. Okay, that's going on. Dear viewers, follow me. NP1, that means noun and pronoun, noun or pronoun at subject. NP2, this is also the noun or pronoun as an object okay now bi bi means verb intransitive b t verb transitive v v that means refers to both transitive and intransitive verb okay the next one b e b b means be verb B means be verb, to be verb, and is a was a ing form, present participle, zirand. LV, LV that means linking verb. ADJ, adjective. Okay, and we have to use uh, some symbols like this. Whenever we will write a structure or read out a structure, then symbol is more important. In English language symbol that's good so NP means noun or pronoun or noun phrase S as the subject nominative or doer or accent verb doing verb O O means object O means object VT verb of transitive TR verb transitive verb INT verb INT verb the key, INT verb intransitive verb. That's good. Okay. The next one IO, indirect object. DO means direct object. BEB, 
that means m is our watch wire a d z a d z means adjective or adverb a adjective a d z means adjective a d v adverb b p verb pattern a v b p hello verb pattern a v hello auxiliary verb now the next one e p a end position adverb f p a front position adverb m p a mid position adverb extend extension e x t n that means extension a f what do you mean a f anomalous finite p r e pre position con c o n j conjunction i n t interjection it's okay my dear viewers now you can make it screenshot to understand it clear okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 is gone skin shot this and the second page is also here that's gone to make it skin shot this 1 2 3 4 that's gone the last of all skin shot please 1 2 3 4 that's gonna my viewers thank you